We are running out of time. Where is he? Nobody comes here on the weekend, but I am taking a risk getting you all home safe. You know what? 1700 means 1700. I say we leave him behind. Uh, so what, all of a sudden, leave no man behind? Is it just horse feathers to you? Well, no, all he had to do was say, hey, Siri, set an alarm. He didn't do that, but he kind of, I'm well, sorry I'm late. Ooh. I was at the club and some barn burner just couldn't keep her mitts off of me. One of the few women from your time that still appreciates a man. Okay. Focus. Ah, ah, eyes up here, Hugh Hefner, look. Huh? You zapped into my life four months ago through that damn basement, and I have put up with this for long enough. I'm sending you home. Listen, toots, I got here drunk, and I'm going back to 1962 drunk. Back where things are the way they ought to be. You need to remember what I told you. Hey, we're walking. It's 2023. You came through some sort of, I don't know, some sort of time portal. That sounds like some crazy Ray Bradbury comic book babble. All I want to know is, are the broads still leggy? How's the scotch? I think you're one for two on that. Look, I'm trying to figure all of this out, but one thing I do know is you gotta lay low. And Kyle, what did I tell you? Rule number two? Look, man, this is the only cool thing about this so-called future. Are you kidding me? Uh, I mean, a minute ago, I, I was playing checkers with my Mima in 1982, and now I'm in the future. Uh, no one's gonna believe this. Uh, me, Kyle Martindale, solar energy installer, is now gonna be uh, jumping on a hoverboard and working on the Mars colony and zipping through the sky on, uh, on a flying car. It's all I ever wanted. Yeah, it's something like that. Look, um, rule number two, stay away from technology. We don't know what will happen to our now if you mess with your when. Is that a computer watch? Ah! Repeat rule number two. Stay away from technology. So, uh, listen, sweetheart, I did, just like you said, but I have to know, women have it okay, right? No time for that. Let's keep moving. There's more, and this is really important. Stay away from the news as much as you can. You don't really want to know anyway. Plus, the butterfly effect. Unintended consequences. Look, I am this close to cracking it. It has something to do with the checkers board. I'm trying to send all of you home and I don't need someone new showing up and messing everything up. Oh, it's fine. I'll stay away from the newsies. Oh, I bet everything's the cat's meow these days. I mean, heck, things are starting to really turn around for us ladies in 1922. We get to vote now. Hmm? I know, I, I may look like a ditzy, <sighs> dish, but I, I'm a wise head scientist back home. My discovery is going to put me on the map. <sighs> and I won't be just known as somebody's squeeze. Keep at it, Francis. We need you. You starch that before heading home. Look, I'm getting out of here. I followed her directions to the T. Yes, ma'am. You tell me what I need to do. I just want to get back to my OAO. I want it only, ma'am. Poor thing worried herself sick the whole time I was out there in the Pacific. I was just cleared to go home, back to good old Baltimore, when I end up here? No. Good news, Captain. I think I've figured this out and can send you all home. Follow these rules, show up when I say, and dress exactly as you were when you arrived. You'll be with your OAO in no time. Copy that. Thank you, ma'am. Kyle, toss me that towel. Here, right here, every time. From that first night when I was doing my rounds and bam, Tony pops into existence holding a glass of scotch and staring at a damn checkers board. Huh? Um, it's called a time anomaly? It does seem to prove Dr. Einstein's new theory. It's called relativity. Tony, stand right here. Whatever you say, smoke show, as long as it gets me home. If my calculations are correct, the checkers board the all- time anomaly. The time anomaly always appears right <gasps> here. 
Yes. If the pattern tonight is the same as the last four months, then we have exactly two minutes before this thing is gone. Now play. Ooh, I feel all tingly. All right, time to cash in. It's either the Copa Room at the Dunes or the big casino in the sky, babies. It has been an honor. You truly have a generous spirit, helping us lost souls get home. Thank you, Captain. Your OAO is waiting for you. Oh, no need for a chin wag, sister. Check the history books tomorrow. I'll be dedicating my discovery to a top-notch brain. Yeah, I guess I am a genius. Crap. Oh, no, we no, have to hurry. No, 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 yeah, no, yeah, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Maybe you and I could just... Okay, um... Stop. <sighs> Rule number two, Kyle. And... <sighs> you know, this isn't the future that was promised to us. But it is the now that we have. Oh! No! <laughs> Two, one, two, three, four. Things can well, or go shockingly poorly, no matter what's at stake. Saving a life, or just picking up groceries, none of that is fate. Cause what some people know, but some take for granted, is that things don't just work out. Some people watch, but others take action, what's more helpful, there's no doubt. So here's to the everyday heroes, but raise your glass a little higher for me. I'm Pam. Take a step back and take in this big picture, these advances in technology. That wasn't someone being more clever or in any way faster than me. It's the training. Raise a glass to everyday heroes, but raise your glass a little higher for me. It's Pam.